All right, all right, chat. I want to get right down to business tonight. <sighs> because this has consistently been nightmarish, but hey, who knows what this season may bring. I did go ahead, set up our coaching staff, all that fun stuff, all the scouts set up, all that fun stuff. Sign some free agents to fill out the team and one to not fill out the team. But a quick look at what we're shaping up as this season. It is Brady Kachuk, LJ Mooney and William Nylander, Andre Svechnikov with Rich Garlock and Lassie Koskiranta. Burakovsky still here with Kerry Terrence and Tony Korhonen, who we took third overall. And then Florian Jack is with Sergei Svitov. And Ricardo Sanchez is... Eye patch guy throws in an X-Factor, so hey, this team will get a little bit better. Uh, we let Macklin go. We traded him to Tampa to get the third overall pick. He signed for over $10 million in eight years. Indeed, we have a Rick Sanchez. We do. Defense is Cam York and Aaron Eckblad, Darnell Nurse, and Oliver Bonk, who was still an RFA. I gave up a third round pick to get him on a one-year deal. So we have Oliver Bonk on this team now, and then Rawlings and Oleg Safranov on defense. Again, the defenseman with skill up, <laughs> which is great. Goaltender Sebastian Casa and Alex Thorns there as a backup. We got veterans as healthy scratches. It's all well and good. But yeah, Oliver Bonk is the, the addition. Uh, that said, add an X Factor right out of the gates. Not what I would have expected. Not what I would have expected. We have not picked a season goal yet. We'll get to that briefly. Briefly. So if we go to pick a number between 1 and 20, it lands on number 12, Rick Sanchez. <laughs> so shout out to Rick Sanchez, who will get an ability... We roll a 29. A 29. For Rick. It always seems to be these other options that get abilities. So let's see. For Rick. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Shock and awe. Shock and awe. For old Rick Sanchez. We will have to flip a coin. Heads will be a gold. Tails will be a silver. And it's a gold. So gold shock and awe for Rick Sanchez. That might just change how we uh, look to do things. Oh, look at the tash. Look at the tash. <laughs> Oh, Ricardo Sanchez gets an X Factor to start us off. Not bad. I don't know what I'm going to do about the right wing side now, though. Hmm. Because he could actually end up being pretty decent. I got to take a look at his shooting category. Okay, his shot actually kind of sucks, but it'll make it better. It'll make it better. So yeah, shout out to Ricardo Sanchez, who now has an ability. Yeah, again, the shooting category is not very hot right now, but this is going to be a very weird team. A very weird team indeed, and what we are going to do, as we always do, is look through some of the suggestions for goal of the season. Of the season, and I'm going to go back to last night, and we will start off. Thyroidless, Brady Ovechkin. Chuck gets 45 goals in the regular season. Reward is any center gets optimized X factors, but if we fail, use your two highest picks on the largest and smallest centers in the draft. Did I do any FIFA 23 series? Yes. I don't remember if I uploaded it, though, but we did uh, a lot with uh, Richmond in the aftermath of Ted Lasso. I don't mind this one. I don't mind this one. I don't get a dupe for now. Goal for the season, make the playoffs. That, that's that been the, the goal two years in a row. Even though it is a realistic goal, it has been two years in a row. Have Core and him be top three in the Calder race. He gains a random X Factor, or one of his line mates gets a playmaking X Factor, or he loses an ability. 
That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. Go and make the playoffs again. Go all your fault. Prove that Saros was the problem. Have Costa finish the season with at least a 9-10. Reward is that Costa gets a fully optimized set of X-Factors. Failure not only is Costa most likely dead. President ownership wants you to sign the tallest defenseman on the market. The same deal as Tyler Myers. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. What's the server with the EA logo? Guess. Guess what it is. Mills, what's up? I don't mind this one either. I don't mind that one either. Still think the number of suspensions in the season should be capped? Yeah, again, it technically is. I mean, I know at the end of last season, it was pretty nuts. All right, so we have AJs, we have Tommy Barzies, and we have Thyroidless, and we'll go in order. We'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We'll put it on, well, one plus two, we'll do six seconds, because math. Check your suggestion. He missed out. We're spinning the wheel. We're spinning the wheel. It's challenge number one, which is thyroidless. Brady Kachuk needs to score 45 goals this season. And we'll see if he can do so. Uh, if he doesn't, I'm trading him. Given the fact that we are essentially set up for him to be able to score 45 goals. Like, we outright went with that setup of set up Brady Kachuk to score a bunch of goals. So, I, I feel like it is a pretty pretty solid goal to have. He has been a consistent 30 goal guy, but now he's got all the shooting categories. I mean, he takes... He took 300 shots last year. We'll see. Put him on both power plays. I mean, I'm certainly going to make sure he's on the power play, and he is. With Florian Jackeye, of all people. You know what? I'm going to allow it. I'm going to allow it. The infinite. Sorry in advance. Oh, this will be fun. This will be fun. Can't wait to see what this is, then. Whenever someone says sorry in advance, you know what's going to be fun. So. As the infinite uses the Wheeler buyout. So, one of Brady Kachuk, Aaron Ekblad, or Cam York will lose their letter and be bought out at the end of the season. All right. Well, that's fun. That's a fun time. All right. That's, uh, that's a good one. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, we better hope it's Ekblad. Like that's the only real way that this goes well. Is if it ends up being Ekblad. If it's York, the series is over. Yeah, basically. We should just never give star players letters. Well, someone wants to use that many channel points. Alright. <sighs> Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh, thank God. Whew. Aaron Ekblad. Thank Christ. <sighs> All right. So Ekblad is gone. At the end of the season, he also loses his captaincy. This might have been the last year of his deal anyway. I don't quite remember. So Ekblad's going to lose his letter. Cam York's instantly going to become our captain. And, uh, what else do we want to go with for a letter? Who else? Go with William Nylander. He's a veteran. Why not? I hope it is the last year of Ekblad's deal. It is. The, okay, thank you. So, yeah, Ekblad's gone anyway. So I can't even necessarily buy him out. It's just at the end of the year, Ekblad's gone. I won't be able to trade him. Uh, he does have a no movement, but if we were bad this year... It could have been try to trade him at the deadline. Like, I have a wheel spin on the last year of someone's deal to try and move them. But, yeah, Ekblad is gone at the uh, end of the season. So that uh, essentially a waste of points. 
It, it was, but it wasn't in that. I mean, they had a a sixty six percent chance of severely hurting this team, severely hurting this team. Having to buy out Brady Kachuk would have been a fucking disaster. Having to buy out Cam York would have bankrupted the team. So our goal for the season, the prediction is up. Again, Brady Kachuk needs to score 45 goals this season. So we will see if Brady can indeed do that. He has 99 passing LJ Mooney next to him and William Nylander. Although I'm tempted to put Burakovsky, you know. I think we're doing that because Nylander can go second line. We're going to put Burakovsky on that top line and literally the only strategy is get Brady Kachuk the puck. At all times. Just get Brady Kachuk that puck. So... Let's take a look at the grades for the season. The season, the season. 90, 88, and 84. Certainly not the weakest we've ever been on paper. We are pretty good right now. Pretty good. But will it matter? We've been good for the last couple of seasons. And it has not mattered in the slightest. So hopefully... Hopefully this works out. Make Brady the finisher on the power play. I mean, I'm sure he already is, but I will double check it. Honestly, I, I'm going to optimize these power play lines really quickly, too. While uh, while you guys are getting your, your vote in on what you think is going to happen this season. I, I, I need to go all in on Brady Kachuk accomplishing this goal. So Macklin ended up making over $10 million on Tampa for eight years. He got a big boy contract, to say the least. A big boy contract. Uh, York and Ekblad both on the power play is fine by me. J. Marty brings in a press box suspension. Which sounds about right. Plus five chemistry on this line. Uh, distributor can be Burakovsky. Finisher can be Kachuk. Get the puck to Brady Kachuk. Is the goal. That is the goal. Alright, that works for me. I'm not too worried about the second. Well, I guess I should be worried about the second unit. I mean, why why take the shortcut here, right? Oh yeah, we're, we're very much still paying Philip Forsberg. Very much. We'll be paying Philip Forsberg for a long time. Who's on that second... Nurse, Bonk, Safranoff, Rawlings. If it landed on York, we would probably would have switched to F1. You're not wrong. Corhanen needs power play time. Darnell Nurse still has really good offensive awareness. I think we're going with Darnell and Corhanen on that second power play. So, Corhanen, say left wing. Only Nylander with a right-handed shot. Gets Fetch in front. Yeah, Korhanen's got to be the focus. We need that guy to develop as well as he possibly can. Oh, come on. Ah, it's stupid-ass glitch. I hate that. There we go. Uh, distributor. Probably Nylander? Probably. Yeah, works for me. Uh, get Garlock at center. Beautiful. All right. I think we're ready. About as ready as we are going to be for what this season probably will be. I am ready to get hurt again. I'm ready, I'm ready. This team has relentlessly... Hurt us as the seasons have gone on. We do have a suspension, actually, the press box suspension uh, from Jay Marty, which is the first five games of the season. We got to pick a number between one and 19. Number 11. So Svitov will be out for the first five games. Good to know. 
Good to know as I hit the wrong damn button. Free falling. Can't wait for NFL. Me either, man. That's going to be fun, as it always is. Thank you for the 35 months in the primer, though. I don't have a, a totally set plan for what we're going to do for Madden, but man, we don't need to. We really don't need to have a set plan for it. A sit down suspension from Dotch. So we are 3 0 to start the season. Uh, pick a number between blah, blah, blah. Number six. So that's our second line right wing. That is William Nylander. We'll be out for the next game. If I am not mistaken. Yeah, sit down's the one game. Uh, fuck. You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. Let's play Smith there for a minute. Not even worried about it. It's literally one game against Winnipeg. We're 4 0. Darnell Nurse is our leading scorer. Let's get William Nylander back in there after the one game. And final game without Svitov. We are a perfect 5 0 to start the season. Ellen Burke hasn't done much, but I do want to get Svitov back in there. Three points for Korhanen. Another sit down suspension. All right. As we roll a 15, so 12, 13, 14, and 15, that is Darnell Nurse. Have I not lost my sanity yet? I mean, if I was going to lose my sanity off of NHL, I mean, it would have happened a long time ago. And 6-0 to start the season. Shout out to uh, Connor Smith, who has gotten some playing time at both forward and defense already. All right, again, Aaron Ekblad gone at the end of the season, so this is kind of our best chance. Oh, my God, Andre Svechnikov. <sighs> I'm going to just roll a number because I like leaving it up to chance. We roll a one. If it was up to me, I'd tell him to piss off. <laughs> if it was up to me, I would tell him to piss off. Is his contract almost up? I think he's got two years left. God help me. Again, I would tell William Nylander as well to piss off. At least I get to disagree with him this time. Oh no, I'm William Nylander. I'm sad and handsome. Piss off. So we finally lose a game. It wasn't in regulation, though. Beat Calgary. Can we beat Edmonton? Svechnikov's happy you kept your... I didn't even do anything! Jesus! What a dickhead. As we do get through October without our first regulation loss, 8-0-1, easily, easily the best start to a season we've had. It's it's going to go poorly soon, I'm sure. Well, we have another press box suspension for five games. Player number eight is Kerry Terrence. So Nolan Burke will be back in for a bit. Literally, we set him up to be able to be as offensively potent as possible. And what is he shooting right now? As a Melnick rules brought in, but we're not currently looking for a trade, so I hate to tell you that's a waste. He is currently shooting 5% and has 20 shots. 25 shots. Is Burakovsky shooting a lot? No. This doesn't make sense. Dude, he's got power play. Brady, what the hell is the matter with you, man? What the hell is the matter with you? I just got to hope he figures it out, but he's got 44 goals to go. Otherwise, we're going to fail our goal for the season, even if we keep winning and potentially make the playoffs. Good thing is we have Corhan in the system now. We could hopefully replace him. Aaron Ekblad has, got Aaron Ekblad has three times as many goals. That's great. That's great. 
All right, let's see if the bottom falls out on this team. Although, if it does, then Brady will start scoring because that's how it works. So, let's see how November goes. There is our first regulation loss. Vancouver Canucks that got us. So far, not quite the uh, ridiculous pace we were previously on. I'm not going to worry about putting Terrence back in the lineup right now. Of course, it was to Vancouver, the team that helped us get to the playoffs last year. And indeed, that was a trash garbage month. Down to 12, 8, and 3 after starting off 7 0 and 1. Brady Kachuk scored five goals that month. He is currently on pace for 21 goals, which would be his lowest in five years. Hey, LJ, you're not really accomplishing the goal of being a good playmaker. I'm going to go with Garlock, Burakovsky, Kachuk, Svechnikov, Mooney, Nylander. Can leave Nolan Burke in there. What a weird team so far. Uh, Goalie-wise, Casa has a 907. So This team is just fundamentally broken. Aaron Eckblad's not exactly doing much from a point production standpoint either. All right. I don't really feel like there's too much to change. Let's keep this going. Brady, for the love of God, you and others on this team really need to... Oh, Andre, I do just... Just... Shut up, man. I don't I don't even care. That's the problem. You presume I care about your issues. I don't. I'm stuck with you. You're welcome for the vote of confidence. <laughs> As we continue to lose hockey games, an incredibly hot start to the season. Andre Burakovsky is hurt. Won't be back until Christmas. Just going to leave the lines as they are. Technically, we'll have a center playing right wing, but I'm not too worried. Yeah, Terrence was technically playing. All right. Urkowski. Okay, Svechnikov, Mooney, Nylander appears to be a good line. Koski Ranta has 12 goals on the third line. Jesus. That fourth line hasn't been that bad. Jack Eye can technically play center. He does have send it. But... All right, Mr. Terrence, it is your job to play on that higher line and get the puck to Brady so he can shoot. He is the clear-cut star of the line for the love of God, Brady. For the love of God. I'm going to need you to score some goals here, son. As we end the month on a hot note, 22, 10, and 6. As of January 1st, 2031, we are in first place in our division. That is an incredible rarity. Kachuk has 15 goals. <sighs> OK, 
second. The rest of the team appears to be doing okay. Oh, Brady. Brady, Brady, Brady. The defense is looking okay. Goss is up to a 9 one Which isn't that bad. But all eyes are on Brady Kachuk. Being on, what, a 31-32 goal pace at best? Indeed, Cam York rocking at 93 overall. He is our leading scorer. Point per game. This is the best we have looked to this point in the season so far. <sighs> okay. Let's go. Big month of January here. Big month of January. Let's see if this team can keep cooking. We have our depth pretty well spread out. Brady Kachuk is literally the only star on a line. So LJ Mooney will be out for a week and a half or so. Jesper Cronwall is on waivers. Got to Braden for the raid, by the way. Again, been loving the NHL 15 streams. How goes it? Thank you for the raid. Hope the stream went well. Um, I don't really think we have a reason to claim Cronwall, so I won't. I won't. I won't. If Sullivan gets hurt in Milwaukee, we can just go best lines. Can we end the month strong? Three games left to go. LJ is healthy. Get Nolan Burke out of there. Nolan's been a really good foot soldier for us. I'm not going to check what Brady's at for goals till the end of the month. And considering we just got shut out in back-to-back -back games. Three straight losses with one goal scored. We are TFC. Jesus. Where's Brady at? Not our leading scorer, Cam Yorkis. Swept the team I tanked to avoid playing in the playoffs. I wish I could have that luck. I wish I could. Let's see. So as it stands, we are first in the division, although Dallas hot on our tail here. Brady Kachuk, 20 goals. Shit. Okay. Okay. 25 goals in 32 games. Yeah. Svechnikov on 34 points. Mooney on 24. Nylander. I, I don't think putting Mooney and Nylander back on the top line is the answer. The second line's okay. I don't really want to drop LJ any further. Korhanen has no way to play with Brady. Because they're both left wings. But he does have 17 goals and two assists. He's Brandon Peary. Garlock, I think we tried on the top line. It wasn't very pretty either. Burakovsky does put up some points, but also a minus eight. The fourth line. Honestly, I just I don't want to break up the fourth line because they've been very serviceable. Oski Rant on 18 points. And to fix the power play. I do have to look. At the power play percentage. The shitty thing is we have a good record. Power play is at 22%, which is the best in the division. Who leads the team in playoff goals? The power play goals, I should say. Ekblad and Korhanen. Kachuk is second in power play points. Is he being outshined on that first unit? Gary Terrence really hasn't been that bad. Koski Ranta hasn't been that bad. I don't know what I want to do here. I don't know what I want to do here. Turner has a passing ability. A top line in the AHL has done pretty well, too. I think all I can really look to do is just change up the power play. But I mean... I mean, yeah, we did have Mooney and... Uh, Burakovsky there, but based on their passing, like that should be enough. It's not like either one of them are stealing goals from the other. For those about to 
T Cage, 18 months, almost as many months as Brady has <laughs> Jesus. That's that's the stage you're at right now, Brady is getting fucking mocked. Okay, what if I change out Eckbald for Nylander? And then put Eckblad on the second unit because he's a little bit less likely to score goals on the second unit. And that should open up things a little bit more for Brady. At least I hope. Let's keep it going. I do think there's a personnel change we could get going. But man, yeah, 25 goals wasn't in 32 games. Highly, highly unlikely as Jacob Bryson gets hurt down in Milwaukee. What do we got here for Dablis? Shootout loss. Carter Savoy. Depth forward. Need that Bryson's healthy. Bedard would probably help. Yeah, I'm sure he would. If I could trade Brady Kachuk for Connor Bedard. I'd be here for it. A couple high scoring games with some wins and losses. Henrik Mahler. We lost to you in the playoffs last year. I'm going to say no to that. 9 3 win over Minnesota. 6 5 loss in a 3 2 win. So we are still, as of March 1st, in first place in this division. At 35, 17, and 9. Five points clear of Chicago. Not so much Dallas. They still have games at hand. So we're so hyper-focused on Brady Kachuk not doing well. At the same time, the team is really clicking. Goss is going to 9-15. Thorne's barely played, but when he has, he's been insane. Just hilarious. York, 9 goals, 56 assists. 35 points for Ekblad. Darnell Nurse has done pretty well this season. Bonk's been okay. I mean, yeah, the defense is looking good. Is the goal lost if Brady's traded? Yes. All right. I think we can... Uh, I think we can confirm that Brady Kachuk is not, in fact, going to score 45 goals. He's on pace for just about 31. So, uh, that whole optimize someone's X factor, I think I wasted it. I think I wasted it. Corhanen, man. What do I want to do here? Yeah, yeah, he'll score 60 next year when he's not on our team. I really can't bring myself to break up that fourth line. They've crushed it. They have crushed it based on the uh, the standards and expectations. I can't break them up. Burakovsky and Korhanen need something different. Nylander, Mooney, Svechnikov is pretty solid together. Aaron says 15 points. Terrence and Burke have done about the same this season. Not sure what I want to do here. Not quite sure what I want to do here. The idea of Koskiranta maybe not taking points away from Kachuk really hasn't worked. What about top line center Nolan Burke? Just for the hell of it, that's some Boston Bruins level center depth. But... I don't know why I'm still trying to uh, make things work with Brady Kachuk when it's very clear that it's not going to. We really should just be celebrating the fact that we're currently in first in this division. And we will be heading into deadline day. I don't think Brady Kachuk's long for this team. But I do feel like it'd be pretty foolish to trade him right now. 
what we need is another another top line center or a top line right wing to really round out this team although you could argue making the team better could actually make them worse so i don't know what we're gonna do with this deadline 